another dark web mystery box over here. This box is pretty freaking heavy nevertheless, but weird return address on it. I'm gonna do what I always do whenever I get a new mystery box and show you guys the top of the box, sides. But yeah, without any further hesitation, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this label and let's go ahead and get this video started. So you always gotta have gloves on whenever you're doing a dark web mystery box. I have the label taken off of it and I think we're ready to get this started, so. You guys are gonna get the first look of what's inside this dark web mystery box. Numbers on the label. More numbers on the label. And all of the labels have numbers. And we got a lot of packing peanuts inside this mystery box. Oh boy. All right, me talking to you guys right now. This is all after I recorded the unboxing. And I can tell you guys right now that I'm still pretty shaken up by the experience. It's the most messed up mystery box I've ever received. I think I'm going to get some nightmares for the next coming weeks, months, years. Um, didn't think it's something I'd ever see in my life, but I seen it and I unboxed it. I am not the same person anymore. Anyways, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Maybe all of these numbers are the winning lottery numbers. I mean, if you win the lottery, I want the cut. <laughs> 30, 17, 65, 13, 20, a 6 or a 9, a 48. These flaps are always in my way whenever I'm doing the dark web mystery box. So I'm going to cut to a scene with the flaps taken off of the box. Wonderful. So I got all of the flaps taken off of the package over here and I'm going to put them to the side. Everything that goes to my left, I'm going to be keeping it. And everything that goes to my right, I'm going to be throwing it in the trash. Just keep that in mind for the duration you watch this video. I don't know where to start. What the? Oh, wow. Oh my God. So what fell out of the mystery box, interesting, interesting. We start the video off with this. Now, in the past, I wouldn't really have known what this was. I've had countless times where I've done something stupid, but I'm not gonna be doing it in this video. The video just started and I already wanna change my gloves. But no, nah, you're not gonna be getting me in this video. I'm gonna be taking this and sticking this to my right side. The first item that came out from the mystery box is gonna be going in the trash. Nothing else really fell out of the dark web mystery box except for that plug. But now we have, oh my God. We have a whole pair of pants. Pants? Oh my God, these are serious, okay. They're inside out most likely. I'm gonna be checking the pockets and you know, give me a sec. So these were the pants that came out of the mystery box. <laughs> I wish I can see the size on here, but there's no size graph. It says genuine dickies. These are dicky pants, pretty nice. I checked all of the pockets and absolutely nothing was inside any of the pockets. I was very careful with putting my hand inside. Pants from a mystery box, I don't even know. The next item that we're gonna be pulling, oh my God, I see a knife inside there. Wow, there's a lot of weird stuff in the mystery box, sunglasses. We have something clipped onto sunglasses. Everybody's already roasting me in the comment section. Why did you put it on? There could be ant. Wow, I look really blue. People are saying there's anthrax on the glasses. I put the glasses on every single time and I'm still here. <laughs> I might be testing my look. But let me know if the glasses look nice on me in the comment section down below. We'll be taking these and I don't know, sticking these to the right. I'm not a sunglasses type of person. I hate wearing sunglasses. Never gotten good compliments. The next item we're gonna be pulling out from the mystery box. We have a blue container here with white out on it. This is what it looks like on the overhead. Oh, on the bottom it says 90911. It looks like there's a date on it. 9 10 2019 356 46. We're gonna go ahead and check what's inside this blue container. Oh, I've seen these designs before. I don't know what this design thing is called exactly, but just let me know in the comment section. I've seen them before. I don't know where I've seen them. It looks like some Illuminati type of thing. There's a cross on the bottom one over here. The cross is pretty nice. We got the heart of the ocean over here. And now we have the second one here. I'm not too sure what it is. 
Looks like a broken rosary, busted up rosary, if you ask me. The eye of the Illuminati and another eye of the Illuminati all going to my left. They're all pretty nice. Nothing else inside the little container. Don't forget about that date on the bottom. We're already like halfway through the mystery box, I'm assuming. It's still pretty heavy. Codeine. Oh, <laughs> we've got cough syrup here, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just clean up the table and tidy up real quick. I'm not the biggest fan of cough syrup, you know? Uh, if I have to, have to, have to take it, I'll take it. But I know some people that actually abuse cough syrup, so. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna be careful with how much I pour. Oh, it's not coming out. Oh, oh my God, that smells terrible. Oh my God, that does not smell pharmaceutical at all. Okay. I'm gonna be taking this and putting this to the trash side. I'm gonna be opening the contents of that glass container very shortly. It smells really freaking nasty, like really bad. That does not smell like cough syrup. It doesn't smell pharmaceutical, that smells rotten. Wow, that really just caught me off guard. We're gonna go ahead and pull out the, what the hell? I mean, it's a knife. It's not so freaking shocking, but oh my God. Okay. I typically get knives inside like big bags. I don't know why it was so damn exposed, but I'm wearing gloves, you know? So uh, I'm not putting my fingerprints on this. There's no way I'm gonna be putting my fingerprints on this. I'm not gonna be touching it a lot. Maybe I can contaminate the fingerprints, maybe ruin the fingerprints that are already on here, if there's any fingerprints on here. Oh my goodness. We got a big Michael Myers butcher knife here. Uh, we're gonna be taking this and putting this to the side. I don't know which side. <laughs> this is gonna be going in the trash side. I mean, some people are gonna think that it's a handy tool, but to me, it looks very sketchy. It could be a, a possible murder weapon, so trash. I know people are begging for me to pull out that pink cube, but like that's the most brightest thing inside here. I think this is the most exciting thing of the entire part. So I'm gonna wait for that, but the zipping container, oh my God. I thought this was a hockey puck. <laughs> okay. Um, a funnel fell out. We have a little tiny funnel here. Every time I look at funnels, I think of funnel cakes. Also inside this little uh, pouch here, it looks like little miniature containers here. I don't know. If you guys take a look, we have one red one here. Okay, there's something inside. <laughs> there's something inside there. I'm gonna be taking that was blurred out. <laughs> Nothing's inside here so I can show it. Nothing's inside here so I can show it. Those two are attached to each other. This was in there. I'm covering the bottom portion, the part with all the, the substance there. And this is the blue one. And this is the silver one. They're all transparent. Not all of them contain something bad though. And we're gonna be pushing it to the side. That's all the stuff that's going in the trash so far. And I'm literally only keeping these these items, like literally nothing else. The next thing that we're gonna be pulling out of the dark web mystery box, I am going to take this, I don't know what to get to be honest. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna take out, I'll take out this. The next thing that we have over here is this shaman looking thing, this witchcraft looking item. That's a little close up of it, a little yellow string here. This is what it looks like up close. I don't know what this shaman thing is. Oh, it twists open. Okay, be very careful, very cautious. Oh my God. It's like a freaking spoon. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna be taking this and what the? Okay, nothing's on my table. Oh no, okay. A little bit fell on my table, but I'm gonna make sure that this is completely sanitized and clean. I got people in this house. I got a dog in this house. <coughs> I gotta be very careful with what I pull out of a dark web mystery box and what goes on this table. I 
like I, I always forget to put saran wrap or plastic wrap over the table. Anyways, um, we're gonna go ahead. Something's, I just saw a light inside my mystery box. Bro, bro, bro. There is a blue light inside my mystery box. Can you guys see that? Boya by Wim for transmitter. What the fuck is it transmitting? What kind of antenna is this? What the heck? What? On or off? Off. 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 Okay, I broke it. <laughs> I broke the, whatever the heck this thing is. I shut this off and I broke the antenna off it. This is apparently a microphone. I'm gonna be taking this and again, this is gonna be going in the trash. What the hell, this is, I don't know what to put together with this mystery box, but the implications are pretty freaking bad. This implies something really bad. A knife, that, I don't know what the heck that is. I don't know, but the next thing that we're gonna pull out of the mystery box, Oh wow, we have more stuff in the pocket over here. Hey! Whoa, those are, are... I hope that's rust. I hope... I hope that's rust, but Exacto Knife. That's the only name I have for them. That's the name I give them. I'm using this for the people that have probably are asking questions like, Where's your Swiss Army Knife? I don't know, I thought this one is pretty cool to start the video with, but... Exacto Knives. These are sharp as hell will cut absolutely anything and everything, especially flesh. Oh my God, be careful. Yeah, they're pointing at the top of the bag. They want me to take it out. No, I'm gonna just pour it out. So we've got one, two handles and I don't know. Oh my God, be careful. Oh my God, I think I just cut my glove. Interesting, interesting. Not too sure. Literally, Everything from this mystery box. Wow. I, oh my god. Those are pointing at me. Everything from this mystery box is going in the garbage. Still pretty freaking heavy though. The next thing we're going to be pulling out of the mystery box is we have this thing over here. Not too sure what it is, ladies and gentlemen, but if you guys can tell me in the comment section down below. It literally kind of matches the tone of my shirt. It's like a smiley face. You, know, you can put like a smiley face on your face. <laughs> <laughs> it smells really freaking weird. That smells like like mint that went wrong. Really bad mint. What the? F I'm gonna be taking this and I'm gonna be putting this to I don't know what the heck it is. Um, nothing inside. The next thing that we're gonna be pulling out of the mystery box. Here we go. We got a couple of colorful things. Packing peanuts. Packing peanuts. Packing peanuts. We pulled out these two items and what the hell <laughs> inside this stretchy pink cube thing there's a lot of weird stuff inside here there's capsules inside here i'm gonna have to try to find my way inside there oh hey hi how's it doing i just wanted to quickly tell you guys two things before i continue on in the video number one is to put on your detective caps because everything gets really freaking confusing onwards in the video number two is you see that little bracelet that i'm wearing in the video this bracelet right here this bracelet was made by my sister nora this is not a sponsorship i'm not getting paid to say this but my sister nora has a little instagram page called beaded underscore beauty with two y's i want you guys to show her some love show her some support if you guys want to cop one of these bracelets this this one here is called the Crypto Black. If you guys want to cop one of these bracelets, go ahead and check out her Instagram page and message her on Instagram. Or if you guys want to just go follow her and show her some support. I'm just trying to be the best brother in the world, man. I've, n I've never shown my sister some sort of support. I've never even done any sponsorships and I'm practicing my influence. So if you guys want to support me and you guys want to support within the family, go check out my sister's Instagram page. Go give her a nice follow and tell her that Crypto NWO sent you here. She's going to love it. I'm so freaking excited to see her reaction. Let's see how many followers I can get my sister guys but without any further hesitation sorry for the little quick rant I'm gonna go ahead and get back to the dark web mystery box there's something else there too that's what I'm talking about okay we got a mirror for the video I think I look pretty decent 
<laughs> I think I look okay. My eye bags are pretty bad. An M, dots, lines, dots. Got more stuff inside there. Got a container here, a plastic container with something inside it. Got little yellow rocks. Not sure how many of them. Well, I don't know why they're freaking transparent. A bag of capsules here. I am not the best with identifying these. I don't know exactly what to type in to identify these. Isn't there like a trillion pills in the world? Like, I mean, I don't, <laughs> I have no idea, but take a look at this. It looks like there is two different kinds inside here. They're both bluish. These are like all blue. These are like white and green. Opening the container, spilling them onto my counter, being very careful. On the first one, it says S48960 MG. And the other one says S48940 MG. So these have the first four digits, alphanumerical digits, the same. One is 60. And one is 50. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these, put these back in the bag, because I don't know what they are. Heavily unidentifiable. And even if they were identifiable, it doesn't mean they are exactly that because they came from the dark web, don't forget. Two more items that went to the right side. This yellow bag is also going there. We also have, not to share what this is. I don't know. In science class, I broke something that looked something like this and we all had to evacuate the classroom. It was pretty bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna break anything that's scientifically glass looking ever again. So I'm gonna safely dispose this after I'm done the mystery box. The next thing that we're gonna pull out of the mystery box, a picture frame. <laughs> Inside the picture frame, glass picture frame we've got what the f it looks like there's letters on there you guys can see that on this camera right it looks like it's backwards ladies and gentlemen this is where it gets really freaking interesting so Plug in rubber duck. I ain't plugging nothing in. Okay, wait, wait till the end of the video and plug in rubber duck. Oh, these are from one of these printy out cameras. The click clack printout. I don't know what these click clack printout cameras are called, but I'm gonna have the photos attached on the screen for you guys. The first one that I'm looking at is just a white oval. It looks like there's some pink gradient to it. I don't know, uh, I would find, see what I'm looking at. The next one here, I see a couple of dots, white dots, and there's something on the bottom. It either looks like a corrupt image or clearly something taken at nighttime. The next one is described, it looks like a road. That's what I see. I see a car. I see a, a street light at the top left. And maybe I adjust the brightness, contrast, something. I don't know, and I'll find something else here. But nothing on the back of all three of them. It says, hello. Okay, so I'm having a lot of trouble reading this right now. I can see that there's a lot of letters on the camera, but in my naked eye, my naked eye can't see these letters. I'm gonna probably have to review this or my editor's gonna have to review this. I see hello on my little, right now I'm using a GoPro and the GoPro screen is kind of tiny, but I'm using this GoPro and I, I see warning. If you guys wanna let me know in the comment section, I greatly appreciate it. It looks like Pearl. I'm gonna be taking this picture frame thingy and putting it to the, I don't need it, so the garbage. My God, this is literally, I've lost so much money from this damn mystery box, but it's totally cool. We've got something here on the side. We've got a lot of packing peanuts, packing peanuts, packing peanuts. It's like one of these address books. Wow, this is the majority of the weight of the freaking box. My goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, we probably have a little address book here. A loggy. It's a tablet! <laughs> what the? F How do you power it on? It 
It's a free tablet. Oh, shoot. There's a nice crack on the screen right here. I got a tablet from the mystery box. I'm going to open the tablet in just a second. Maybe there's going to be a part two video. Maybe it's cracked on the top. Can you guys see these cracks? If you guys can't see the cracks with the cameras, I'll definitely take some pictures up for you guys. But we have a tablet here. Nice little tablet. How the f do you turn? Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the keyboard works. The keyboard's lighting up. What is this, a freaking laptop? Volume. Oh, there's a... Very weird. Is this an iPad? Oh my god, oh my god, I'm freaking cracking the screen even more. <gasps> Passcode. <gasps> it's an iPad! It's a fucking iPad Pro! That's the Apple Pencil! Okay, you guys might think I'm capping right now. I... I have my own iPad. A few moments later. Listen to me, I'm not trying to flex by saying I have an iPad with the magic freaking keyboard and the Apple Pencil, but I have it. And my audience knows that I have it and I'm a freaking huge fan, huge fan of the iPad. I don't know why I didn't recognize this was the iPad Pro, but I already have one. Mine has two cameras and a LiDAR sensor. <laughs> this one here only has two cameras. Yeah, this one has two cameras. I don't know what the problem is, but I'm gonna definitely take a look at it. Ladies and gentlemen, I just got a freaking iPad Pro off the dark web. I got an iPad Pro. This is an iPad Pro. I'm wondering, I'm like, what the f- <laughs> Oh my god! Look at the condition in the back! Uh, oh, it's actually really bad. Oh! <laughs> this is what? The, the silver one. FaceTime. Signed into FaceTime. What the hell? You know what? Like I said, I have an iPad Pro already. I've got an iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil and the Magic Keyboard. I don't know what kind of keyboard this is. I'm not crapping on the keyboard. It's a freaking iPad Pro, but I like my Magic Keyboard and my iPad Pro. What's the point of having two iPads? You can do a split screen on an iPad Pro. So why the heck do I need two iPad Pros? There's no reason. I can do two separate things on one iPad. This is actually going to be a hassle. It's probably going to end up being put in a drawer. So if you guys want this, subscribe to the channel if you want to. You know, definitely fair. Let me know in the comments comment section what you like about these videos or don't like about these videos. I call it constructive criticism. I'll find my favorite comment and I will give you the iPad. What's what's going on here? Welcome iPad, no content available. North America. Turn on location services to allow maps. Yeah, not yet because this is still an activated iPad. So I'm scared if I connect this to my Wi-Fi, something bad might happen. You saw how there was already a password set on it. So that means this is not a brand new iPad. Before I select a comment that leaves a constructive criticism comment and subscribes to my channel, before I do that, I'm gonna have to wipe the entire thing. I'm gonna have to reset it and I, oh, I, <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to fix the screen for you guys? I'll fix the screen for you guys. Maybe. <laughs> but after I'm done taking care of completely wiping it and making sure it's, you know, good to send out, I'll send it out and I'll be reviewing the comments. So I'm going to be taking this and oh my God. But this versus everything else that I got inside the dark web mystery box, I literally paid it. 666 US dollars for this mystery box and I got an iPad Pro. Apple is freaking expensive, so I don't know if I got my money's worth. I don't know if I got more money in my mystery box because it's a broken, probably stolen, probably refurbished iPad. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this mystery box. Really freaking interesting. I had a lot of fun checking out the packages and uh, we have this plug-in, the rubber ducky. We don't have anything. Oh, we do have something else inside the box. So we have two more things inside the mystery box. If there's anything valuable on this plug-in rubber duck, which this is what it looks like, by the way, I forgot to show everybody. There's a picture of a duck on a USB. But the last thing that we have inside the dark web mystery box is a little black pouch here that says, in quotes, finger food. Finger foods, like shrimps. Shrimps are finger foods. Little, 
Oh, it smells really freaking weird. <coughs> oh, this smells so freaking nasty. Something smells really freaking rotten inside this package over here, and I'm definitely putting on the mask to finish off the video. What we have here is... Oh my god! What the f*** is that? Oh my god, what the f***? What the f***? What the f***? What the f*** is that? Oh my god! Okay, that's where you draw the freaking line. No, that's where you actually phone the cops. No! Oh! 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 My phone battery! My phone battery and my camera both died. Oh my god! Oh, this is really freaking bad. Anyways, I'm gonna go charge my phone and while my phone's charging, I'm gonna go ahead and plugging in the rubber duck USB. So... Don't worry, I forgive you. You made it till the end of the video, so mwah, but go follow her, beaded underscore beauty with two Ys. I love you guys.